Funny story, in the last episode, I thought we were having another earthquake here in LA, but it's because I shook the table, so that's why my lights were shaking, so I'm a dumbass. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Detroit Become Human. If you're not already caught up with this Let's Play, there's a link to the playlist on the screen right here, and it's also linked in the description down below. In the last chapter, we played as both Connor and Marcus. It was a longer episode, and it was a really, really damn good one, so you have to check it out if you've not caught up yet. But yeah, I loved everything about it. I think we're making great decisions, very intense. I just, I can't wait to continue to play, so without much further ado, let's continue playing Detroit Become Human. Get back with Connor once again. And I have a bad feeling we're going to talk to Amanda right now. Yep, can't wait to get yelled at because I know that we didn't do a very good job at Eden Club in her eyes, but I'm happy with our decision. I don't care. Where is she? Oh, there she is. In this boat. Hello, Connor. What's up? I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're trusted for now. <laughs> I was like, was I con supposed Hello, to continue Mistress. doing that? Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from Definitely. the noise of the world. That's so pretty. Tell me, what have you discovered? Uh, my relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I mean, I'm just being honest, sis. Damn. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. Oh, this was a bad idea. It's <laughs> simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. was so bad. <laughs> Crap. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Baby, all Something's I need happening. is time. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. But honestly, though, like, forget Amanda. I don't care. I know in my heart I did the right thing. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Let's ah, hope this goes well. The feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. 
There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. I'm just glad we didn't kill them. Imagine how different the tone would be right now if we did. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. That was a little bit, like, clunky. He said, Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI ever take over the investigation, you should be off the case. Right. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What an asshole. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, Freaking just ask. Freaking douchebag, man. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. I still feel you really good life. with how we handled that entire speech. You to give us it was so beautiful, so Deviants moving. RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Damn, that would be pretty sick. Oh my god. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so he knows. Oh shit. You see something? He knows who we are. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know if lying to Hank was the best idea, but it's not like I really had a choice. Like, I didn't tell him that there was more than one person. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. I doubt it. <laughs> that is true, they were androids. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Well, guess what? I'm gonna go talk to them. I'm gonna actually try to do a job, unlike some people. But yeah, I don't know about lying to Hank. Like, we didn't tell him that he had accomplices. We didn't tell him that we knew who he was, who he was registered to. Like, nothing. Very weird. Also, more weird that it wasn't, like, an option for me to decide. Uh, let's go over here. Connor? You remember me? on that terrace that android that took the little girl hostage 
was shot? Oh my god, he's he's the um, the cop that we helped like put the tourniquet on his I leg or whatever it was. Dude, that was so long ago. Did you save my life? I never thought I'd say this to an android. So long ago, I completely forgot all about that. But that's so cool that, like, something that we decided literally, what, like 20 episodes ago, I think? Because, I, yeah, this is episode 21. 20 episodes ago, and that's something that's getting brought up right now? Like, that's, that's awesome. I loved it. What a nice moment. We're just gonna keep investigating all these little bits of evidence. We are a very thorough detective. Yeah, they, they came in with their big ass guns and poor Simon, man. Um, if I have like the opportunity to like avoid going to the rooftop as long as possible. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I want Simon to have as much time as he can to try to hide and get secure. I don't wanna catch him. Yeah, we know the roof is there, it's fine. Yeah, 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 more bullet holes. I don't... Yeah, we're not gonna go to the roof. Into the kitchen first. <laughs> Guess what we're not gonna do? Read. Okay. This can get kind of crazy. Because we know that Marcus told them to move. We know they know who they are. So we need to see what we can do. Uh, let's go left to right. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the deviants broke go. in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. They're being very vague. I'm a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. He totally looked. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? I don't know if these two have Only station though. androids in the normal course of like my he, function. Like he kind of did like a. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. I got my eye. He's still looking at me. You see that? He was still looking I'm at me. I'm going to find out which it is. We're gonna keep him in my periphery. See, he's still- yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're being way too guilty. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna grill him. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! He's still looking. We're, I don't. I don't trust him. I don't trust him Why at all. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Yeah. 
I was gonna see, but he's the only one that's twitching. See, LED red. I got him. I got it. You scumbag! I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on, admit it. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Uh, oh no, oh no, uh, uh. Hank! Hank! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I need help. Oh my god, okay. Get the knife, get the knife, get the knife, get the knife. Okay, I knew it was him. Did I think this was gonna happen? No, not at all. Oh my god. Okay, we need to get that, we need to get that. And these other two Troys just standing there. I get it, I'm a cop. I get it. Come on, come on. 16 seconds. Oh no, a minute for 16 seconds. <laughs> come on, come on. To get him. Get him. It's a deviant. Stop it. <gasps> oh no. Oh, uh. Hank. Uh. Attack. Uh. Gun. Gun. Uh. Gun. 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 Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Simon's alive. Yes. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think that is, I mean, massacre prevented. I think that's probably the best ending we could have got from this chapter. I think we did a thorough investigation. Yes, we didn't go to the roof. It's fine. Glad that we didn't now that I know Simon's alive and he's okay. If we had gone, we already know it was going to be like a chase. They were going to probe his memory. We were going to find out information. I didn't want to do any of that. Oh my god, that was intense. I, I'm curious what would have happened if I did the other options. There's a lot of different options that could have happened. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm very happy with this. I think we did a fantastic job. And we still benefited Marcus's storyline. So this is the best case scenario, in my opinion. I could be wrong. It's fine. I'm happy with this. I'm completely fine with it. And you know what, guys? I'm going to call this episode right here. If you like this episode, don't forget to click the little like button. If you want to continue watching this Let's Play, don't forget to click subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to click the little bell notification. You'll be notified whenever I upload new content, and you'll be the first person to know about that. Thank you guys so much for the support. I honestly cannot wait to continue playing Detroit Become Human. I'll see you next time.